Hi there, it's John Peterson from the Arlington Institute, and it's nice to have you with us here today. Uh, we're here to talk about transition talks and our upcoming talk on the 20th of August, Saturday the 20th of August here in Berkeley Springs and live stream from, you know, to anywhere in the world. And we're really looking forward to having Victor Sagalovsky with us uh, to, coming up on the, in, uh, on the 20th of August. Victor is a, a researcher and a scientist and has done some extraordinary work on a, an amazing kind of breakthrough that kind of has the answer essentially to life extension and to uh, quality health care. Uh, yeah, he may not want to make that kind of a claim in quite those kinds of terms, but that's what it looks like to me. And uh, Victor, it's, uh, we're looking forward to having you with us. Thanks, John. I'm looking forward to being there. Yeah. Uh, I've never been to Berkeley Springs, so I'm looking forward to well, Coast and... our, our little town is just 20, uh, you know, it's 100 miles from Washington and Baltimore, and it's a little resort town, and we have a wonderful uh, kind of community here, and we're doing some very interesting things. There's a there's a water competition there, a very famous yeah, one. Yeah, there is, there is. I know, I know about that one because I've, I've entered into that competition before, so, but I've never been to the town, so. Ah, well. Uh, it's a small enough town that I can tell you I know all the people who run it. So, <laughs> so but uh, very good. So anyway, tell us a little bit about now you, you've stumbled, I don't know, stumbled into, you've discovered some extraordinary things that make a huge kind of difference in people's it, kind it, of lives. It's extraordinary. It's even more extraordinary that this is something that's been overlooked. And uh, what I did is I focused on it. So we look at a lot of things in our lives that we want to pass, we want to pursue or things that pique our interest. And my, my interest has always been, you know, how do we, how do we stay younger, longer? <laughs> well, you, you've looked all around the world at the places where people have lived the longest historically, and you found this common element associated with all of that. And it turns out to be, related to the water and I mean what else what are else are the benefits of this well the benefits is that you have more energy so everything is can be summed up as a energy game right it's all it's all fo it's the main focus of our of uh of what we try to get and what we and what we use and uh optimal both ways and getting it and using it is the key here so whatever clues and whatever discoveries that we can improve upon uh i think we have something here we have something known as deuterium depletion and i say it's the most it's the most important biological discovery in terms of practical discovery that's beneficial for us of our time and uh i'd like to i'd like to explain this and uh, actually i like people when they when they challenge me on it too because then i can uh really get them in to my camp of understanding that what we have here is a natural contaminant and what we figured out is how to reduce it and by doing so whether it was done accidentally by these people that live in these areas or if it was done uh, methodically with intent what we do is we lower the amount of this element this thing in our bodies, this natural contaminant, which is known as deuterium, and then we enjoy the benefits, and the benefits are more mitochondrial energy, more metabolic energy, which one can really, you know, when the subject of energy is, it's, it's, you need to have, you need to be able to define what energy is, and when you don't have it, it's hard to define it. Uh, it's a lack of something, but when you have it, it very much you understand what the benefit of being healthy is, right? We, we, don't, we know that there's no benefit in being not healthy or being sick. Maybe there's one benefit, which it puts you in the present moment. But when you are, when you are really on the opposite spectrum of that, when you are fully optimized, you know, fully healthy, at, and uh, it could be at any age, and that's mental and physically, and that you're just at peace and harmony. You have more capacity of energy that you have, less resistance to things, and uh, you have more ability to 
uh, properly influence the future. In this right. Script, which yeah. is what we're trying to do. Well, takes- well here, here at Transition Talks, what we're really interested in is this transition to a new world. And the transition to a new world comes from a transition to a new human. And a new human that sees themselves and sees the world in quite a different kind of way and has, frankly, I think, so going to have extraordinary kind of capabilities that are not right. common here. And, what, and the reason why what you talk about is so important is because you have uh, discovered and, and now refined and developed the process to where water, a unique kind of water that you develop, is able to, to you know, produce essentially a new human in, 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 in a sense, one that uh, lives longer, that has better health. It's just really quite amazing. It gives you an advantage. And that advantage comes, um, it's very easy based on all the work that we've done now. And all we've done is we've created and, prom- and we are in, in the act of promoting a new standard in water purity. Now, just because it's very hard to reach the standard doesn't mean that we haven't found a new standard. And this new standard is a quality water which has a reduced level of this deuterium in it. So when you reduce the level of deuterium in your water, you reduce the amount of deuterium in your body over time. And this is the contaminant that just gunks it up. And in my lectures, I talk about getting a new pair of shoes, having a new pair of running shoes, having trained six months to a year, every day dedicated out there running five, 10 miles because your goal was to run this marathon. And now before the marathon, you put on your brand new shoes and you're ready to get out the gate and do your best. Well, as soon as you start, you accidentally step in a bunch of gum, just really sticky, nasty, annoying bubble gum that's out there on the street in the pavement. And now with your training and your brand new shoes, you've got this sticky gum on your shoe. Every time you go down and get up, it just holds you back a little bit, which ultimately ultimately affects how you run this race. So, and that's what this contaminant is. It's this gum stuck to the bottom of your brand new shoes. And you, we go through life with this and it's cumulative, right? We just keep going deeper and deeper in this gunk. And this gunk is something that we can reduce based on myself and my group, uh, a team of individuals getting together and going, we see this is a problem and we want to solve this problem. And first, it has to become the number one problem for you yeah. because if you order to stop everything else anybody's doing this becomes a number one task at hand a number one priority and that's what we did we prioritized uh to create <clears throat> we prioritized uh not only well you can promote this problem all day long you educate all this long uh, all day long but but ultimately you have to figure out the problem of how do you reduce this contaminant and offer that to the people so that's what it's a journey of our small company, Lightwater Scientific, which uh, 10 years to develop and three years on the market, uh, multinational effort to create a commercial process to create a water that can be marketed at a cost that's still reasonable. It is, it is, it is pricey compared to regular water you buy at the store, but with the goal, the specific goal and benefit in mind to reduce the burden of this natural contaminant, it is natural, but over time, it's become unnatural in how much we have on this planet. So the big revelation here is to understand how human physiology works. And that's been my endeavor my whole life is to more have a better understanding scientifically, not only scientifically, but spiritually, holistically on every level, how these bodies work and what makes them work better and what makes it what makes us live longer. And so the standard, which is the reduction of deuterium in our bodies, uh, is something so, it's so profound because it gives us a real net energy benefit, a real edge. You know, they yeah. say that, they say that uh, youth is wasted on the young and wisdom is wasted on the old. And here we are trying to ride this middle, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, because the youth, you know, the youth leaves quick, uh, but the youthful 
neuroplasticity of the mind can stay your entire yeah, life. Absolutely. And and with having the having the smarts as we do as we get yeah. older and wiser and accumulate knowledge and research and and experience, we can use that up here to inform what's down here to make our actual physical yeah, make, presence up your body younger and more vital. You can, yeah, you got to use the brain to keep this yeah. healthy. You know, in the begin in the beginning, you just take it for granted because because you're young and you're just riding the laurels of youth, which everybody gets to experience yeah. at once. But if you want to experience a second time, you got to use you got to use this and and teamwork too. So we've created a factory that removes yep. this and contaminant Russia, from water in Russia, in Russia yeah. of all places. And we're building one here in the US. And this is where the technology is from. This is where it was discovered and in the Eastern Euro European um, theaters where they really did this type of work. And uh, and then but the Americans were right there the whole time, too. They acknowledged the problem. Sure. They sure. saw that it existed and they just did nothing about it. They like overlooked it and said, OK, yeah, we we, we know. So what next? Right. Well, so, this, is a, this is going to be a very interesting talk. As you know, I've heard you talk. I've heard you talk twice. Uh, right, right. A Tesla tech also. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and what I'm impressed is about the fundamental nature of, of what this depleted water, how it how it works. That well, is just, yeah, absolutely. I mean, for you, we're talking about uh, futurism and, and being a futurist and yourself a futurist. And, and what does that mean? You know, we like to look to a better future than we have now. And uh, but some of the problems that we're creating our, for ourselves in the future, one of those is uh, space travel. And uh, yeah. this, is a, this is if you don't have deuterium depletion when you go to live up there in interstellar, interstellar space for any length of time, whether you're trying to get to the moon or exist in some orbit of some planet or right. or go to Mars. Mars has seven times the deuterium levels. When they start making water, they realize that uh, it has no. They they really might have a huge mitochondrial deficit, and mitochondria is. These are the these are the engines, these are the factories inside our bodies that we have by the billions that run run the show. And if we don't keep them happy, they won't keep us happy. So so well, you're, we gonna have, come, you're gonna come and talk about all of this. And you're we're gonna, gonna talk, talk about, about yeah, yes, if you if you people I'll talk, people can ask questions. I don't know the format hundred percent, but Right. And, and I gave you just a, a hint and that has to do with the icebergs behind Victor right now is that some of what they figured out was that this water comes from icebergs and from places, unique places that uh, uh, are untouched in the kind of other in the ways that much of the planet is touched. And so uh, for those of you who are watching, uh, uh, Victor will talk about the whole process and what it's about and how you can get it and all kinds of things it's just really right. fascinating and it and it's you know believe me it's a, it's just a breakthrough that's really fundamental and profound right. you don't have to exercise and you don't have to change your diet not to no there's many facets to this diamond of a subject but then the most important is how it how it can help you and yeah right so we, we'll we can explain the mechanisms behind it and uh, how it works, what it is. Yeah. So we're, we're really looking forward to having you with us, Victor. Uh, we're going to all get together on the 20th of August. And for those of you who are watching, uh, you can do that by live stream. You can do that. Uh, come to our beautiful little town. Come here and be with us. And we have a good time. And we all have dinner together and so on. And we have a, make a great day of it. Uh, and so it's the 20th of August, and you can get complete information about it at transitiontalks.org, transitiontalks.org. And so we look forward to seeing uh, you, Victor, and all of our friends here in uh, Berkeley Springs, uh, either, <laughs> either directly or virtually on the 20th of uh, August. Ber Berkeley Springs is a fitting location to talk about water, that's for sure. Yeah, it is, it is that, yeah. <laughs> It's built on water and the International yep. Water Festival is here. That's yep. right. So thanks. We'll look forward to it. Thank you. Looking forward to it. See you there.